Students, we are discussing about international human resource management. So in that, um, we are talking about mergers and acquisitions, how companies from different countries, they come together in cross-border alliances. And for that, we would like to see a comparison of uh, the HRM policies or HRM features of uh, different uh, national cultures. So uh, this topic is comparing the HRM practices of different national cultures. Uh, the comparison is made uh, between uh, top economies of the world, uh, which is America, Japan, uh, Germany, France, and UK. Uh, so in this comparison, uh, it was found that performance-related pay is more popular in the USA. So if you are planning to go for uh, USA, uh, for merging with a firm uh, in USA, then you need to know that performance-related pay, they like to be paid according to performance. Uh, then in USA, recruitment tends to be rather short-term. So um, it's not a long process, it's not a lengthy process, it's done quickly, Recru uh, recruitment is a short-term process. Uh, then in Japan, uh, there is more life, uh, lifetime orientation. It has, uh, uh, with the passage of time and with the, uh, with the change in overall culture of the world, uh, with the rapid changes, with globalization, uh, the lifetime orientation of Japanese culture has reduced, but it is still higher than other countries. So Japanese uh, people, they want to plan. They do things with a lifetime orientation rather than short-term orientation. So they like to do things in a structured way. They like to plan uh, ahead of something. They like to go for contingency planning and you know, things which are related with long-term planning. So in Japan, uh, you cannot have a short-term plan. You always need to have a long-term plan about your organization. Uh, then another feature, uh, training, uh, which is an important feature of human resource. Training costs are highest in the US. So if you want to train your people, if you want to invest on your people, that is most, uh, that is something which is most expensive in the US than the rest of the world. The study also found out that uh, convergence is taking place across nationalities uh, towards performance-related pay, PRP, training, and team-based product development. So convergence means that um, uh, people and companies from different countries, they are converging towards this uniform approach. So more and more people from different countries, more and more companies from different countries, they are going for performance-related pay, although it is most significant in the US culture. Uh, then companies, they are going for the uh, feature of training. So all over the world, training is something which is taking place uh, more significantly. And then team-based product development. So product development is not done by individual people. It is something which is taken up as a team uh, initiative. Then another feature of the MA, uh, merger and acquisition related to HR is that acquirers, whatever is their national identity, the acquiring firms, they make adjustments to suit local cultures. They don't do that they do culture ko impose their culture because uh, the, the world is, um, uh, is going towards a culture of uh, equity, it is going towards a culture of human rights, it is going towards a culture of uh, justice and fairness, um, and there are 
uh, international organizations like United Nations and other organizations which are looking after the fact that nobody is imposing anything on the other person. Coercion nahi honi chahiye, oppression nahi honi chahiye. When otherwise, in history, we can see that East India Company was a commercial organization who took over the entire subcontinent by imposing, by coercion and oppression. So uh, acquirers, they try to, in, in the new world, uh, 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 in, in the new world environment, uh, people who are coming from abroad, from foreign countries, although they are holding big, hum, uh, big, huge multinationals, they try to adjust to the local culture. Overall, we see that uh, when we look at the uh, culture of these countries, US, the US HRM reflected a short-term individualistic and national business culture. So the human resource policy or the human resource function of US was short term, uh, as we just saw that recruitment is short term, training cost is very high, pay is performance rated. So short term, it is individualistic. Uh, they don't go for teams, they don't just share responsibilities in teams, they do things individualistically. And national business culture, U.S. ka ek apna national business culture hai, jo ke wo, jis se, wo deviate kaam hi karte hai. Uh, then in Japan, uh, HRM, although they are adopting the U.S. methods, they are still, uh, they have an approach of uh, long-term approach, a consensual approach in which they uh, collaborate and discuss uh, with each other and then decide according to consensus team-based and collectivist natural, uh, national philosophies. These are the features of the Japanese human resource culture. Uh, in France, the French companies, they are showing more openness, but they, are, uh, they still have an ethnocentric approach, which means that they try to uh, they, they hold their own culture right. They think that their own culture is correct. And they don't, uh, they show less flexibility and openness towards other cultures. So French are still more ethnocentric. Uh, Germans, on the other hand, they are uh, the most anxious to adopt international practices in their acquisitions. Uh, they try to adopt to the other countries' culture and their practices, uh, even if it conflicts with their national tendencies, as we saw in the, in the merger of uh, Daimler-Chrysler, that uh, people coming from Germany, they tried to adopt the informal culture of the US, um, uh, US setup, although Germans, they had a lot more formality in their uh, setup and in their culture. So uh, the Germans, they try to adopt uh, the international um, culture, they try to adopt the practices of that firm with which they are merging or which they have acquired or they have been acquired by it. So they are most, uh, most flexible and responsive, open towards uh, accepting the culture and practices of other companies. So these are the different features which, uh, which come up uh, related to the human resource of uh, human resource function which is uh, being practiced in various different countries of the world.